Okay, now that the primer is dry, uh, we're ready to apply a coat of paint. I'm going to paint this a little bit of a darker shade of green color before I put an antique glaze on it. So more than likely it's going to take two coats. And the process is pretty much identical to what we did earlier with the primer. Uh, one thing I'm going to do real quick is take a real fine sanding sponge and just go over this primer real quick to knock down any chunks or residue or anything that may have gotten in the primer while I was priming. Um, just be careful not to push too hard. All you're doing is just going over it real quick. And most of the time, if this was a raw piece of wood, you would have a lot of dust you'd have to dust off but since since this wasn't raw it's not going to be real dusty and we didn't sand on it hard so I'm just gonna take a quick wipe in of it basically it's ready to go I could tell when I was sanding there wasn't hardly any dust so I'm gonna start just like I did earlier and you'll notice when you start painting that the paint will spread easier and farther than the primer did. And this is just a latex paint, eggshell. It is an interior paint, but you can use exterior paint as well. This is just something I had on hand. And um, I can already tell when I'm just getting started that this probably will be a two coat process. But we'll go ahead and get started with the first coat. You can see the underneath of these, but you have to remember this is sitting up higher than it normally will, and plus the camera's sitting pretty low, so normal use you're not going to see the bombs of these shelves that you can see in the video now so I wouldn't let that be a concern to you Okay, now I have uh, the cabinet rolled out with the first coat, so as it's drying, I'm going to go ahead and start putting a coat on these drawers.
Okay, I have the cabinet rolled out with a coat of paint. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just do like we did earlier with the primer. I'm gonna go ahead and paint the areas with a brush that the roller didn't get real quick. Okay, the cabinet is pretty much complete for the first coat. I'll let it dry and uh, after I apply the second coat, I'll come back and we'll go over the process for putting an antique glaze on it. And uh, in the meantime, I'll go ahead and paint the knobs again. And then when you see me next, we'll be ready to put the antique finish on. Okay, thank you.